We're going to be working on our algebraic skills. But in particular, we're going to be learning about how to expand our expressions, okay? Now, expanding might not seem um, or may not uh, feel as familiar to you right now, but once we uh, apply um, expanding and we try and work on some questions, it should come to you very easily. Okay, so what is expanding? Now, expanding um, occurs when we have situations like this. Okay, so when we have uh, some number multiplied by a bracket and it has two other numbers in there, okay, then we can effectively expand this expression. So how do we do it? Well, let's take a look. So what I want you to do is look at A and then multiply it to B, okay, so the first term in there. Well, A multiplied B is just AB, okay. Now there's a plus sign, okay, so we're going to keep the plus there. And we're going to multiply A and C this time, okay. So we're going to multiply those two terms and that will just give me AC, okay. So this is effectively how we uh, expand these uh, brackets or these expressions and this is the expanded form okay let's take a look let's take a look at one more example so this is a very similar thing but we have a negative sign so what does that change okay let's try and expand this one well we're going to multiply a and that first term okay which will be a b now negative I want you to keep that negative sign there and now a multiplied by c okay which is simply AC. Okay, so it's very important that we uh, maintain our signs. Okay, and again, this is how uh, very basic forms of expanding expressions. Okay, so now that we've done a very generic example, let's try and apply it to real numbers. So let's take a look at the first question. So we have to expand um, this expression here. We have 3 outside of a plus 4. Okay, again, this is actually 3 multiplied by the bracket of a plus 4. Then let's try and expand this expression out. So first thing we need to do is look at 3 and we're going to multiply it with uh, my first term a. Okay, so 3 multiply a is just 3a. So we'll write that down. And the next one, I want you to multiply 3 and the second term. So I want you to multiply 3 and that positive 4. Okay, and that will give me just 12. And this is the expanded form. Okay, so we've expanded this expression. Now let's take a look at the second question. So again, there's a very similar form. We have 3 outside of a minus 7. Okay, well the first thing we need to do is multiply 3 and the first term here, which is a. So 3 multiplied by a is just 3a. So let's write that down. And we have 3 multiplied by the next term and I want you to think of it as 3 multiplied by negative 7. Okay, so I'm going to multiply those two terms. Okay, and that should give me uh, negative 21. Okay, so again, it's very important that we keep the right sign. The sign has to be very correct. So, let's move on. Okay, so this is where sign becomes actually very important. So in question 3, we're going to expand minus or negative 2 outside of a plus 5. Okay, so what changes? Well, nothing really changes. We're going to do the same thing. So I want you to multiply minus 2 or negative 2 with the first term a. Okay, so let's multiply those two and it's negative 2a. And then I want you to multiply negative 2 and 5. Okay, so keep in mind that I'm not just saying 2. The sign in front of it comes with that whole number. Okay, so negative 2 multiplied by positive 5 will give me negative 10. Okay, so minus 2 or negative 2 minus 10 is our expanded form of this. Okay, so it's very important that we maintain our sign okay, in front of that number. So let's move on to question 4. So we have a outside of x minus 2, and hopefully this sort of basic expansion is getting a little bit more familiar. We're just going to multiply the first two terms again. Okay, so what does that give me? Just ax. Now the second two terms, a multiplied by Think of it as a negative 2, okay, and we'll get a negative 2a. Okay, so again, sign is very important. Now, looking at question 5, we have expanding a outside of a negative 2. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, we're going to multiply the first two terms like always. Okay, now a multiplied by a is a squared. 
Okay, now a multiplied by negative 2. Okay, so the second term we're going to multiply now. What does that give me? Negative 2a. So what do I have? My expanded form is a squared minus 2a. Hopefully this is getting a little bit more easier and a little bit more clearer. Okay, because it's not a very hard concept to apply. Okay, now question 6. We're going to expand 2a outside of a plus 3b. Now, just as long as we don't make any silly mistake, we're going to do the same thing, and hopefully we'll get the same answer. Now, we're going, to, we're going to multiply the first two terms together. Well, actually, we're going to multiply that with the first term, okay? And that gives me 2a squared. Now, let's multiply the 2a with the second term. So, 2a multiplied by the positive 3b will give me 6ab, okay? So, again... This is a very basic form of expansion, okay? But to be able to do other forms of expansion, we have to cover the very fundamental uh, aspect of it first, okay? So this is a very important um, for our improving our algebraic skills, okay?